Waste Management, Section 7. Um, we have modified that uh, somewhat, as you can see, with the uh, sentence starting with, in addition, that ALW shall prepare a specific plan to handle any, um, any um, found or generated at the facility. Um, there are a great deal of regulations that you can invoke a, a trained inspector from the health department to come and see it anytime you want. We already have these regulations. As you said before, we have to follow all right. We already have the regulations. You want to say that we have to follow county and state regulations with regard to, to the septic system? That still goes beyond what anyone else has to do, but but everyone has to do that anyway. But but this language- We're putting in this on. agreement is part of an accommodation uh, for the first commercial business on Gibson Island uh, that you will contract at your own expense for a dumpster. Uh, the dumpster, you know, the, and, and this collection will have certain restrictions. It's gonna be screened from visibility by neighbors, by golfers, which is something that's important to golfers. Um, it can't be serviced on weekends. It can't be serviced um, between 5 p.m. and 7 and, and 7 a.m. during the week. So only during 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. during the week, uh, and a number of other things. And that is is uh, in in compensation uh, for your providing that. Uh, we will reduce the um, monthly fee by forty dollars a month. Okay. So the corporation bill. Correct me if I'm wrong. Has eight dumpsters. Six are unscreened. Uh, one dumpster is seen by the fifth hole. Uh, it is unscreened. Um, so again, we refused to do the dumpster when it was because of the materials with bodily fluids on it. That was discriminatory. Um, we suggested that if there was a reduction, and we suggested $150 from um, the monthly fee, that it would make more sense for us to be able to control our own trash. We did a calculation with um, on the phone the last time, and to fill up a eight yard dumpster with nine residents, if they all had depends and were changed three times a day, you would be pushing a month. You currently do not collect um, trash from people's homes um, twice a week, it's, it's once a week. Um, so what we wrote back was, and currently there are nine large 40 yard dumpsters on people's properties that are on screen. And in the 20 years we've been here, there's always been at least one. And, and obviously there's a lot of uh, development going on these days. But again, um, it is not in our best interest um, to have the dumpster anywhere close to full, uh, by the requirement to do it twice a week, and the requirement to do it, bless you, at different times uh, than anybody else. Um, you know, again, it, it will adhere to what everyone else is adhering to. Well, here with corporation is, I mean, it's, it's reliable. So if reliable comes by and, and you know, it, it does a round, but if, if reliable all of a sudden picks you guys up at, at some time in the morning and, and then can't pick us up and have to have, have, to have another trip, um, the reliable cost is 165 bucks a month. We asked for 150, we agreed to 40 because we wanted to get by the discriminatory part of this. So again, twice a week's not gonna work. Um, it is not in our best interest. If you think the dumpster is too full and you think it's a problem and you, and you think it's a problem that someone doing a development where Greg Cross's dumpster's overfilled and you call the health department at Greg Cross's dumpster, they wouldn't do a thing about it. You call the permit office, they may, may come out or may not. If you call them about an assisted living group home, they'd be here that afternoon or tomorrow. The dumpster's overfilled. Um, and that's just that's just the reality. But we don't want to be treated any differently than than everyone else's dumpster on the island. You know, this is a group home. It is treated by the county as a single family residence. And again, we're happy to do it. We're happy because of the way it was agreed to be done. Um, and we're happy to certainly, you know, once a week, no problem with once a week. But we can't sit here with the trash being once a week for everybody else on the island and be discriminated against by saying twice a week. Plus an eight yard dumpster is the smallest dumpster. They say, we can't always get you a six yard, but an eight yard dumpster, you know, will simply not get filled up once a week. 
Craig, can I, can I interrupt? I'm sorry. From your August Zoom, you're the ones who, or Jeanette, I think, offered, gave the, the eight yards and said twice twice a month. That's, Actually, Patty, twice that's a week. That, that, 40, that's 40 for 40 residents, 40 residents. Patty. Well, and, and David, very carefully, I, I can actually tell you where it is on the Zoom call. David said, how many is that for? And 47 total beds. But at that point in time, she had 42 residents. And that was picked up twice a week. One eight-yard dumpster for 42. We have nine people. So this is a ridiculous requirement. Well, that, that's where this came from. It originated from our conversation. I'm, I'm not going to argue your, your rebuttal of that, but that's where it came from. I apologize. The once a week is a temporary thing over the winter um, <clears throat> because many residents aren't there. Um, this is something presumably that would be full and generating the same amount, um, um, you know, winter, spring, summer, and fall. Lewis, um, and maybe you're not aware as an engineer, you haven't been on these calls, uh, but you can certainly do the math. So it would take 32 50 gallon trash cans to fill up an eight yard dumpster. Uh, and I guessed at 33 and, and I went back into the math. So if someone soiled three depends a day and you put them, you would take two and a half weeks to fill up a 50 yard. And we only have nine people. So they eat less. So it's water in, septic out, water in, bodily fluids on depends if they're not using the, the laboratory facilities. It, they simply don't generate twice a week, it's discriminatory to ask it. And to say that it's the winter time, we've never been more full because of COVID. So this entire year, we've never been more full. There haven't been more people here. So it's almost like summer, it's been like summer. But, but again, we, we're just not gonna walk over a discriminatory line. Happy to do once a week, if that doesn't work. The rest of the part about the reports, that's discriminatory, it's not needed. You guys have, you know, have been pushing like, like there's some, something wrong with the disabled folks, septic, with their fecal matter, with, with their bodily fluids. There's that's, nothing wrong with it, it's the same that, as that, us. That, that's not the case whatsoever. Well, actually, that's exactly that's what David said. not the case said. whatsoever. Lewis, that's exactly what David said. David said, and I quote him, that the bodily fluids of someone in a business, in a group home, are not necessarily the same as the bodily fluids of an owner of property on Gibson Island. Okay. I I don't know what David said, but I'm just saying this is the language that we are proposing, and you object to twice, is service twice weekly. Is that the, our difference here? I, I'm trying I, to I, move forward. Right. I, I, I appreciate that, Lewis. I object to the second paragraph and twice weekly. We can go with once weekly and we can move it's forward. It's only one paragraph. It's two paragraphs. Number nine. I mean, number eight, eight number, now, Craig. Number eight. Oh, number seven, sorry. Waste management. Okay, I was up on meals. No, it's number seven. All right, uh, I, yeah, that's number seven. Waste management, so again, once weekly and the time frames, the $40 is fine. Um, the, the screening it, um, we provided a video uh, that it's, uh, it's, uh, can be put down there and screened. He can turn around fine. And as far as the time frames. Um, it's whatever the time frames that the corporation and the other folks have. Um, you know, we're not going to do it when they're not doing it, but we're not going to also get an extra charge because reliable has to come back because it's okay for the corporation with one of the dumpsters visible by the golf course. It's okay for the corporation to pick up their eight dumpsters at, at off times. Now, if everybody else in the corporation is restricted to this, we'll be more than happy to agree with it. So why don't, why don't we just leave it that whatever the, the corporation's policy is with all the dumpsters, including their own, will follow. Happy to do that. <clears throat> we'll reflect that in and also reflect the um, fact that we want it once weekly. Thank you. Um, 9.40. And club is allowed to pick up their trash, um, deliver trash, pick up new trash, do all those things. 
but of course we can't. They put in the agreement multiple times, the MOU multiple times. Um, can't be picked up on the weekends. Uh, of course, this is the busiest road, Banbury. Call it uh, 200 of the 340,000 cars. Um, and uh, it's okay for them. Corporation allows that. And it wasn't a delivery of a fourth dumpster. They're only having three dumpsters in there. They're literally picking up trash. And there, of course, is the club guy. I'm recording this. How long has the trash been here? Um, a couple weeks. In... It's a lot more convenient, obviously. Yeah, October. October. First of October. Yeah. And then they shut it off, and that screens it. That's good. Yeah. I mean, there. This is temporary right now. Right. Just seeing if it works out. And where are they going to put it? Further back. I, I don't know. Um, yeah. So, I have the services. Trash cans out. Yeah, I know. Back. You normally do the trash cans, and, and then they take it. And I'm sure to take it now. They come Monday, Friday. Right. 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 Or so Saturday. I mean, during the summer, I'm going to have to hire a guy. That's all he's going to do is run trash all day. Right. Yeah. No, you, I mean, too many people. I mean, eight, 900 people running through here. It's crazy, man. Yeah. Cool. All right. Yeah, it worked out. Thank you. I'm recording this so we can see it. But she really liked this white, and she likes it. I said, well, sweetie, what we'll do is build a corral. We've already got six inches. So if we leave the sand that's there and just put another six-inch course on top. I wouldn't leave this. I wouldn't leave your existing sand. You wouldn't. You're going to end up losing the crush and run into the sand. Into the sand. Yep. Okay. Well, what if they tell me i got an impervious problem? So the CR6, yeah, the that... compactability... For CR6, it's meant as a base. Okay. Um, because it co it heavily combats. If you're up here, like this is off. This is 50 You can see. Oh, I see. Minus, okay. Minus that dust. Minus the white dust. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So this, it'll be white. It'll be new. But yep. this is, and it won't get this much traction, but. Right. But this, this is, she'd like this. Right. So this was, so this was the new piece in October. Yes. Okay. So this, this is always, this has been here since the club this was redone. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, and then just you can you can back out of here, right? But you can actually turn around if you want. There's no wires, and you can back onto the grass. So you can actually get closer here if you want. Yeah, you're fine. Go right up to the building. All kinds of room. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Yep. Go all the way back to the bamboo. Keep going. Keep going. You want me to move my car? This is not screened. Didn't have to look down someone's driveway.